Miss Scarlet Tanager, as some people from my gaming channel know me, but this channel is Miss Scarlet's Menagerie. But I figured I would show, like, tell you guys a little bit about myself. I am 26 years old, sort of a college student every now and then. I'm still trying to finish my degree um, in specifically biology. I have just recently started having pets myself as an adult. Growing up, I had a whole bunch of pets. But now, as an adult, these are the first ones that I've had. So this right here, kind of sort of see it, is my freshwater fish tank. Inside it right now is just three quarry catfish and my assassin snail Ezio. I can see him just barely right next to some of that rock there, but can't really see him at the moment. There used to be a lot more fish in here. The other fish died. I had some Rasbora, some Neon Tetra, and a um, Powder Blue Garami in there. And over the last few months, they have died. And I think I finally got it under control. I cleaned everything out, water changed it multiple times a week, scrubbed out all of the algae that I could find that I think was the culprit, and seems to be fine now. Whatever it was, didn't even touch the assassin snail or the um, quarry catfish. So once I am 1,000% sure the tank is fine, we're gonna be putting some more fish in there. And I'm going to be keeping a much, much closer eye on it. This is my first tank I've ever kept myself as an adult. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you have uh, a lot of you have dealt with younger children who don't know how to take care of their fish tanks. That was me when I was really little. So I have a little bit of what's it called karma to make up for. So I'm going to make sure that this tank ends up being awesome. I mean, it already is awesome. It's a planted freshwater tank, and. You can't really tell, but a lot of the rocks on this left side here were actually my father's because he was a rock hound, so they are special rocks to me. I know you guys are wanting to see the stars of the show at the moment because I haven't done very much about the aquarium yet, about the aquarium setup. But where you guys have seen on my channel is two little plump balls. So give me a second to introduce them. This is Tally. She is the first pet I got, even before the fish tank, even before Garrus. And she's being such a good little girl. She is, oh, that's very bright in the light, because <laughs> she's all like... So she is about a little shy of a year old now. She was about six months old when I got her. I got her in about October of last year. She is called a Rhinelander. She does not like being held though, so I'm not gonna hold her for too long. She was a rescue bunny. I got her from the Oregon Humane Society. She was surrendered to the Humane Society for, I believe, being an unwanted litter. So it was just like, hey, surprise rabbit. Oh no, we can't take care of this rabbit. We'll give him to the Oregon Humane Society. And she is spayed. She's being so good right now. So, a funny story about her. Oh, oh, funny story about Tally here is she was actually put up for adoption literally the day before I got there to the meat society. Not even intending to get a rabbit. Yes, I know. I know you want it. Not even intending to get a rabbit. I was intending to just look. I had the cage and everything set up for Bunny, my town girl. I'm getting your little treat because you've been a girl. Yeah. So I went to the Humane Society with my friend Emily, not even intending to find a rabbit, by the way, but I ended up leaving with this little girl. Because she is such a good, good little one. Now, sometimes it takes a while for rabbits to warm up to people, but when I went in just to look at the rabbits and get some advice on making sure my enclosure was all set up and everything was good to go to get a rabbit, we decided to take a look at a couple bunnies, including this little girl. And at the Oregon Humane Society, what they do is they'll set up an X pen. You stand in the X, sit in the X pen, they let the rabbit loose, and they just kind of see how the rabbit reacts to you. This beautiful little queen here, she just started beaking. They put her in the X pen with me. She started running around circles around me. She climbed up in my lap and she binkied. And evidently the handler had never seen her do that before. She had only been on display for about a day, day and a half-ish. So she was brand new, just been spayed. Such a good little girl. 
And I kind of looked at Emily, and Emily looked at me, and I went, So would your fiancé be mad if we took a rabbit home in your car? Because she was driving me. And she went, Get that rabbit. You get that rabbit. <laughs> I had to wait about a month to get her a companion, get Garrus, and there's an entire story behind their bonding, which you guys might have seen in one of these videos, but I'm going to put her down, because she doesn't like to be held very much. But she is being a very good girl. She's being a very good girl. This is Garrus. He is my second rabbit. He's a lop-eared mix. I'm not sure exactly what he's a mix with. I almost want to guess a hull and lop because he has a similar head ridge to a hull and lop. But as you can see, he's a lot bigger than a hull and lop. <laughs> so I'm not entirely sure on that one. He's about six pounds. Tally's about three pounds. So she, he is literally twice her size. I got Garrus about a month after I got Tally. He wasn't from the Oregon Main Society, he was from the Multnomah County Animal Shelter. He was staying at a pet store that I really like near my house, and I just kind of saw that he was there, went, okay, we'll go check him out. Took a couple times, I had to bring a blanket of tallies to make sure that he was okay with her set, and he was, so he ended up coming home with me. He. Unlike Tally, who was an unexpected rabbit, he was actually a pet rabbit for a family and some kids. And they ended up, when the parents got a divorce, they weren't able to take care of the rabbit anymore, so they turned her over, turned him over to the animal shelter. Okay, okay, I know. I know, we'll give you a safe video for you. You deserve it, because you're being a good boy. Oh, he doesn't like being held either. Rabbits in general don't like being held. But his name was Maui when I adopted him and I changed it to Garrus to fit with Tally, whose name was Rita. But the thing about Garrus and Tally is, I put the disclaimer of it in the bond of the, the bonding video where they sh I showed them meeting for the first time. See, rabbits usually take a little while to get used to each other and bond and you have to watch them to make sure that they don't attack each other, that they don't wreck up everything, don't destroy each other. But with these two, I was shocked. They were bonded straight up less than 24 hours. We almost got out. Garrus chased Tally a little bit, but not that much. Okay, okay. He likes Garrus for some reason likes to hide his likes to hide his head in the crook of my elbow. Think like that. He likes to do this. So that makes him feel safer. They were bonded less than 24 hours after meeting each other. I stuck them in the bathroom uh, tub to meet. I let them run around the bathroom in a neutral area because Tally, that was in Tally's territory. And, oh, my son. And they never fought. There was no thumping. There was no, like, really aggressive displays. There's a little bit, maybe. But they worked it out really quickly. And within a couple days, I was able to test them being in their condo cage. They're mostly free roam, but when I'm not in the house, I do have to put them in the cage, which was a stipulation with my roommate when I got the rabbits. Which, by the way, do not take Garrus and Tally bonding that quickly as how your rabbits might bond, because it can take six months to bond rabbits, effectively. These, but these two were like, hey, no, we're, we're soulmates. We love each other. Okay, okay, I will put you down. I'm gonna go put him down. He's a big boy and he's grumpy. Gara's back kicked at me when I put him down. I don't know how much you guys can see it, but... Yeah. Hazards of owning a rabbit. I am now covered in Garrus fur, because Garrus is still finishing shedding his winter coat for his summer coat. On this channel, I'm going to be doing lots of pet care videos for the fish, me learning, since this is my first fish tank as an adult, or just me taking care of it. Pet care videos for the rabbits, cute videos of the rabbits, any other pets I get because I do want to someday get more. All of my pets live in this room with me. This is my bedroom, as you can see, obviously, from the bed behind me. So all of my pets have to be in this room. They can't be outside of this room. Don't know exactly how to end these videos, but... This is what the person behind the camera on the videos looks like. If you guys want to see my gaming videos, those are over at Miss Scarlet Tanager. If you want to follow me on Twitch, that's twitch.tv slash Miss Scarlet Tanager. I do video game live streams in a couple times when I'm in class or if I'm out doing something. I'll set up the enclosure for the rabbits so they can run around on the floor a little bit and I'll aim the cameras towards them and do a bunny live stream so you can just watch the rabbits for a few hours. 
But yeah, if you want to follow those over there. Oh, and on Instagram, I have some very short clip videos of the rabbits and me just living with them. Pictures of the rabbits, pictures of me, if you wanted to see this. <laughs> but that's going to be about it. So my name is Miss Scarlet Tanager. This is Miss Scarlet's Menagerie. Garrison Tally are in their cage. Ezio is in the fish tank. And I will see you all in another video. Thank you.